Yeah. That's a bear. A nice sibling. Hey, hey, let's keep going. Easy, Mira. There we are. Good girl. Pack up a little bit here. We we'll have some breakfast. Coffee. Be nice. Okay. Yeah, good girl. How are you doing this morning? This is a classic morning, isn't it? Nice day. Just the right temperature for riding. Cooled off yesterday afternoon with the with the heavy rains and the lightning and thunder. Yeah, I'm just shoulder checking. This uh, road can be busy sometimes. They come in here pretty fast. Last night uh, I noticed my my GPS, my Wahoo, was uh, low on battery, so I, I gave it a little boost with a battery pack I carry to start this morning. And then if you take a look there. Got a cable, micro USB running to a USB and underneath all that inner tube there is a power converter and even that uh, headlamp there, pretty powerful, runs off that generator hub down at the bottom. little bridge. Hmm. How brave are you? Hmm? In good shape? <laughs> this is scary, isn't it? <laughs> you know I'm gonna put a bit of bug spray on you. Open up the fork. Yeah, all the way. Because we're going down. Oh, yeah. How are you doing? Time for another break, I think, isn't it? Oh, lunch break. Mira's under the table, eating her the remainder of her breakfast. She didn't seem to eat very much today. So I had to put uh, water in the bowl to get her to drink that, and then eventually eat the kibble. Man, I think I'm a little tired. Are you tired? I think you're tired. This dog packing thing, you, you forget how good a shape you were in. <laughs> yeah, I was in, even when we were traveling, I'm in good shape. It takes a while, you get used to, to all the weight. Oh, first time pushing the bike. Yeah, I'm uh, in 
Key Country Park uh, south or just east of the lower lake on the cross-country ski tracks, the Nordic trails and they go into some pretty marshy areas so we're, we were pushing through that, the muck just sucks in the tires and whatever else Mira seemed tired, a little, little, uh, you know, flat and I was like, oh I gotta take it easy on the poor girl. Like, she hasn't been doing this dog packing just same as me. We're both lacking condition for this kind of this kind of effort. But then uh, got her some water, and I just let her off leash, and we're going up the hill. And now, yeah, yeah. That's the mirror I know and love. I just don't think you like being on leash all that much. But we were in the national park and then we were in the provincial park. So you're supposed to be on leash, sweetheart. I know it sucks, but now you're free. <laughs> yeah, I think we're almost finished with Elk Pass and then we'll roll our way down the hill and man I am going to appreciate that fork before I had this Ren fork I've been running carbon fiber rigid forks and they're light but it, so on this part going up the hill <laughs> I'd like that but on the other side man has it been nice you know, just open it up and it takes in all the bumps. It's great. Stay in control, see where I'm going. Yeah, save some energy. So yeah, so far so good. Enter Elk Valley. Uh, winter access, it says this sign anyway, so. <clears throat> North is not the direction we're traveling, we're traveling south, so we're headed down there. Elk Lake Cabins, parking. Beginning of the road, it says. You see section of the Great Trail. Yeah, we got some, I don't know if those are the builders. Yeah, big horn sheep. Nice welcome. Man, that's spectacular. You know, there might not be much of the Great Divide mountain bike route in Canada. And I'm definitely biased. But some of the best riding is here. I mean, Trails are fairly rugged in places. Like it's actually helpful to have a mountain bike, but the views are spectacular. I mean, you come over a rise and then look at these peaks, man. These limestone, these jagged limestone peaks, well above tree line. You know, you got the High Rockies Trail. Like that's good mountain biking. You know, trail riding on its own you don't need to be going anywhere so yeah it's uh these sections are pretty good you know you go hang out in banff you know see the sights if you want if you're into that i mean it's pretty cool It'd be a shame if uh, they just decided to do away with it now that they've got the classic border to border they call i mean i think they call it classic i don't know 25, 30 meters away, just in the forest, right over there. There's a black bear just munching on something, on fresh growth. Shrubs, I don't think there's any berries yet, not up this high. Anyway, yeah, let's go, baby. Yeah, hey, bears are not something to be toiled with. Yeah. Okay. You leave the bears alone. If it was a dog, you wouldn't think anything of it. 
dogs you don't care about, but bears you just want to wrestle with. I don't get that. That's no good. Yeah, if we camp in this area tonight and there's no bear boxes, we're going to be putting the food up in the tree. And you're going to be staying on a leash, little dear. Pause. Let's keep it running. Oh, we got Air Canada pretzels. They don't give those out anymore. It's playing in the mud. That water was clean when you got there. <laughs> 